This is a shoe. The stitching is really cute. She is T. It's probably not real leather, but it feels nice. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Lose me. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Jatara Brianne. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are new, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, okay? And let's get into today's fall favorite collective haul. Haul is the term that I'm going to be using very loosely because these are just some pieces that I have accumulated across the end of the summer into the new season. So let's jump right into these items. I want to start off with bags, okay? Because I have not been a big purse girl growing up. However, I am a woman now, okay? I'm 27 years old and we need to have a really nice handbag collection. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we need to spend a large amount of coin okay so starting off with our first piece mind you she's a little bent up girl because i took her on a trip but this is the first piece this is she in all of her glory this is a joy pay purse okay get into her like the perfect color for the fall this is a nice cream with some gold accessories she's so cute let me tell y'all the name this is the Harley shoulder bag in ivory. It retails for $89 on the Jouet Pay site. Now I will say, I heard that Jouet Pay recently went through a rebrand and they completely just changed the whole vibe across their site. They used to have a lot of pieces that were cheap, bad quality, and now they just rebranded and hiked up the prices, which I don't appreciate if that's true. However, I don't see bad quality nowhere over here, okay? All of the stitching is really nice on the two bags that I own from them. Granted, I haven't worn these pieces out with like a legitimate outfit yet, so maybe I just need to wear them a little bit more. But so far, so good. They're holding up really, really well. The, the hardware on the bag is really nice. Um, the gold doesn't look like too shiny to the point where it's like cheap in my opinion i have my bag stuffing in here i'm gonna take it out so y'all can see like the size within the bag like it's a good amount of room in there there's a a little inside pocket she cute okay and it feels like it's probably not real leather but it feels nice you know what i'm saying so i like her so yeah a quick zoom in on the detailing She's super gorgeous to me. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This next one, I love a little bit more. Shout out to my man. He got me her. She's also a little bent from being in my luggage because I take so long to unpack my bags. But this is another Jouet Pay purse that I got. Super cute. Like, the detailing, it's not too much, but it's just enough. Like, even into the little tie, the stitching. She's so tea. The shape. This bag reminds me of the Dior saddle bags. Okay, we don't got Dior money right now, but we can still get the same vibe, right? Right. So this is the Ashley crossbody bag in black, and she retails for $99 on Jouet Pay. And if I'm not saying the brand correctly, please. Not too much of me in the comments, but she Gorgina, like I like the length. That's what it is. This feels really comfortable because it's a long strap, okay? Um, they call it a crossbody. I don't know why because I don't think it comes with a longer strap than this. This definitely gives me shoulder bag vibes, but it's such a comfortable shoulder bag. Like, with the way in which it hangs on your body. She also has, like, really good structure to her. Girl, is that saying? <gasps> no way. How sway? Because she was definitely in a um a dust bag. How that happen? Girl went to Cancun ahead of time. I did think I wore this one 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 night. Oh yeah. Anyways, the structure of the bag is really, really nice. Like you can barely bitch can barely get out. You can barely open her. Like she has a really good structure. Nice and tight. <laughs> um I'm trying to show y'all what she looks like inside. She also has an inside pocket. Nice amount of space, you know. A girl never needs to carry too much, really. You know? What do I bring to the table? Lip gloss and lipstick, okay? Pretty. 
such a nice high quality statement bag for the low lows only a hundred dollars um and again let me zoom in on the quality and the details for you guys joy pay hit me up buki okay let's do a little collaboration that's a piece okay now let's get into my current top favorite purse ah! are you ready She is T. Oh my God, Coach. Coach did a biggest month, baby. Ain't nobody playing with Coach right now, okay? Ain't nobody playing with Coach. Shout out to these little um purse charms I got from Amazon. They'll be linked in the description if you go to like accessories and clothes and whatnot. They y'all so cute because girl, the ones from uh from Coach, them charms is expensive, but. Get into her. Okay, okay, okay. Let me tell y'all the name because I don't remember about this off in my head. But this is the small city tote bag in the signature canvas. Okay, this brown and black. This is the signature canvas. It's in the color gold, walnut, and black. She originally retails for $129. But right now, well, no, I got her for $103. Okay, so I don't know the current price. However, I got this from the Coach Outlet, okay? So, in my opinion, the Coach Outlet always has a little cute little deal. You can get a cute little steal for the cute little, okay? Versus going into the original Coach stores. But she's such a beautiful brown and black walnut color with the gold detailing. I love the length of the strap. Again, very comfortable on the shoulder. Ve Ugh, this just feels like home, baby. This just feels like home. Ugh. I can't believe I wasn't into purses for real like like a year or two ago like are you dumb I love the little wording detail right here this is coach so cute she holds her structure really well I barely have anything in here she's nice and light she can fit a ton I have put my I've worn this a thousand times already girl I can put my iPad in here flatly like horizontally and she still has room for everything else um I got stuff in here, girl, so I don't know if y'all want to see the inside trial. I'm going to take a couple. I'm going to take some stuff out. Girl, basically, know me all in my business. You don't need to see all that. It's such a, like, cute brown on the inside. Go detailing. That's Coach on the inside as well. Has a metal schlub clank clank. Mm-hmm. So she's nice and secure. You can still see things in here. It's not like a zipper. So I would like to make that statement um there's a zipper that's where that lip line was okay baby i'll be losing things you know actual little zipper inside here to put more stuff y'all i love this bag ah i wonder if they have this in pink because that would be susie but she's she's so cute she has you know the card holder right here boom 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 money pocket boom 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 she also has a zipper okay i'm not gonna lie the zipper begins that coach but yeah this can also be a car pouch coin pouch whatever whatever your you know fits fits your vibe she has a cute little c go detailing right here i just love her now we're gonna move on to slippers slash sneakers so first things first i got these really cute eggs ah! they're slippers but they have the strap they're platform they're thick as fuck baby they're huge, okay? So these are the Ugg Funkette slippers. They're the genuine Sherling slippers. And this is the color brown orange. Now, here's the key. I got these in a size 8. I don't wear no 8. And no shade to anyone who wears an 8 or above. But I got these in an 8. I heard that they run small, and that is very true. So if you would like to wear these during the fall and winter with socks, girl, you better or your ankle is going to be cold as hell. Go up a size or two, okay? So I didn't go up a half size. I'm originally a size 7. I went up a whole entire size. Um, And my foot fits in it perfectly with or without socks. That's the key. So, yeah, these were pretty small. Expect yourself to roll your ankle in these. Okay, I haven't yet because I haven't worn them out. But do you see the thickness of this? 
platform this is like three regular soles into one now mind you i got these slippers last year um i think these are what are these the regular chessmans i don't know but i got these and the platform on these very the, the, is barely there but when these are on the website side by side this platform doesn't look that much bigger in comparison so this was definitely like a catfish situation however i still like them so yeah these are her these are she in all of her glory super cute color gorgeous matches my coach purse really really nicely the fur is amazing there's lots of fur inside that is super soft fur duh it's ugh um here's the tea if these are sold out on your ugh store go to nordstrom's that's where i got these from and they delivered to me um let me tell you how much they retail for they retail for 130 dollars and again this is the burnt cedar color because People was not telling you the, like, actual color on TikTok. They was pissing me off. But, yeah, I love those. Pray for me when I'm wearing my side so I don't run my ankle. Now, let's move on to sneakers. These are currently my favorite sneakers. These are a pair of Mason Margellas. It's my first pair. I've worn these a thousand times, too. So, they a little scuffed. So, you see a little speck. Not too much, okay? These are so cute. Shout out to my man. He got me these. Um, I just love a really cute, low-cut sneaker. And if you are a girly who's trying to serve, like, casual cunt vibes all the time instead of just, like, oh, she has on a pair of sweats and a tank, if you put on a nice sneaker, like a low-cut sneaker, it kind of pulls the look together. It's not going to make it look professional, but you just look more put together and polished, in my opinion. So, I love these. These are the replica sneakers in beige. They retail for $6.70. And I have them in a size um i wear a seven but i think the euro size is 37 they are really comfortable and if you got a bony ankle like me they don't hurt your feet in the back which i appreciate because some low cut sneakers can rip your ankles to shreds girl but these are a vibe they're cute and they're comfortable and i just love them now if you want a more affordable vibe but the same feel girl adidas okay i got this pair of sambas a really long time ago um it was this year though so it's probably like around april i think i got these in preparation for spring however i just think the color palette obviously coordinates with fall as well so these are my platform sambas um i got these in a size and i can't wait to wash my hands after this i got these in a size six and a half um i heard that these run big but these is cute, girl. I can't wait to get the Giselles. I can't wait to get the Alohas. I love every single color, like, palette that they have. I think you can get really creative with your pieces when it comes to Adidas. Adidas is, like, really eating the girls up right now, okay? Now, moving along to a very similar shoe that, unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to wear yet because my man got the wrong size and has yet to, you know, switch them out. Girl, piss me off i wanted to wear these so bad as soon as i saw them okay so these are the adidas but they're the what is it the wells Bron bonners i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that correctly these are so sweet <laughs> they don't fit me they're entirely too small if they were too big girl i would have put on a thick sock and just rocked it but they are so cute do you see the type of material like it's like it reminds you of hair I don't know and then the gold bronzy detailing on the side with the flat floppy tongue like they're not platforms like the other ones but i love this black white and brown like color palette so stinking cute you can dress these up you can dress these down i can't wait i can't wait like tell me that ain't the perfect fall shoe i don't know how much these retail originally but because they're all over the place being like re resold by resellers and you know they love to hike up the prices and whatnot but this this is a shoe this is a sneaker uh i can't wait to get in the boots the high knees and the pumps and the uh but that's more like fall to winter vibes but yeah, let's move along. So if you're anything like me, you cannot survive through the fall and the winter without like statement sweatpants and just like matching sets. So 
I went to Amazon and I'm basically doing a test run right now. So I purchased two different sets, one black and one gray, clearly of just like a nice cute top and bottom to throw on when I need to go run some errands. And similar color palette, I got some black and gray sweatpants that I'm going to pair with some of these cute tops that I purchased and then the, the, the delivery date just kept getting pushed back so they're not going to get here soon, girl. Like I said, I'm just testing things out to see if I like this quality, if I like this um, seller because if these are high quality and affordable prices, I will definitely like, you know, purchase more and tell you guys to buy them. So this is going to be like a first impressions just because I think everyone needs to have some high quality thick sweatpants and nice sets to wear during the fall times. Okay, we have transitioned into the living room so I can show you the full vibe of these pieces that I got from Amazon. So this will be a really good time to use my microphone that I purchased from Amazon because I want to show you guys the full vibe of these pants and I want you to see the full body, but I don't want to scream to the camera. So I'm going to use my phone really quickly because I don't know where I put the microphones that I purchased. Ugh love love myself right so first impressions they are tall girl friendly because i am short and baby i could have went down a size because the crotch area is a little bit long however i do like to hike up and bunch up my sweatpants when i'm wearing them so that really doesn't bother me and i like long oversized clothes anyways so yeah if you're a tall girl these will really really fit you well the pockets are real which i love because they're real not only just on the front but they're also real in the back these are like a true cargo sweatpant kind of vibe because all the pockets are real even the one at the lower part of my thigh the quality seems to be really nice like there's no like threads left out the stitching is really nice they're thick but they ain't too thick huh i thought they were going to be a bit thicker from how heavy the package was. And I will say this, if I have younger folks who aren't used to washing their clothes or they just wanna preserve the quality of their clothing, don't dry, like literally don't put your clothes in the dryer. Don't dry any of your sweatpants if you want them to stay true to length. Hang them up after you wash them and let them air dry. Y'all, I'm losing weight and I'm also losing my butt. I need to get back in the gym. I'm going to Pilates tomorrow though, so hopefully that'll help. But yeah, let me put on the black pair. Okay, so these are the same pants, but these are in black. And I would say immediately the inside of these pockets are different. It's, it's a different quality. I mean, it's a different material than the gray ones. The gray ones had a soft inside lining. This has like a sushi inside lining, and I like the soft one better. Um, They also sent me these pants in a different package so I don't know what's going on there because these feel a little weird when you put your hand in it I like the soft fuzzy feeling you know but anyways that's a small minor detailing because overall I do really enjoy these pants I forgot to mention that they do have a drawstring um in the inside which I like because you can pull it out if you want the you know the bow to show but sometimes I don't like it to show if I'm trying to dress up my sweatpants which I tend to do um in terms of size guide I am 5'2 for reference and usually I wear a 6 in my bottoms however I got both of these pants in a large because I like oversized tings and the black is like a true black you know love that but yeah, overall, I would rate these pants from Amazon 8 out of 10. This is like nice quality to come from Amazon, okay? So I think I would recommend this seller. Okay, you guys, so this is the first two-piece set, and I'm in love. There are a lot of sellers on Amazon who are selling these two-piece sets, but I did a good amount of research because I wanted to make sure that the ones that I purchased weren't super duper thin. Granted, I wouldn't wear this outside. However, you can't see my undergarments underneath it, and that's all that I wanted. I can 10 out of 10 recommend you that this will not be good for my tall girls, okay? Because these pants are um right there they are stopping exactly where i want them to so i would not be drying the top nor the bottom because there's a lot of stretch and in the shirt and i want to keep it that way yeah go up a size if you're tall uh especially when it comes to the arms like girl right 
Like this is perfect for me. If I was five four and up, done deal. And of course I got the same exact thing in black. I don't think it's worth, I don't think the juice would be worth the squeeze if I put that on for you guys because it's the same exact thing. I got them in the same exact sizing and everything. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's like fall phase collective haul, definitely give me a comment down below. That lets me know that you enjoy that type of content and I will definitely be filming a part two with like actual fall fashion pieces if you guys would enjoy having that. So yeah, let me know how you feel in the comments down below like this video duh, and subscribe if you did it earlier okay so yeah thanks for watching bye